least prime factor of a is 3 and least prime factor of b is 7 so here a i'll take it as least prime factor should be 3 so i'll take a as 15 because 15 prime factors are 3 and 5 the least one is 3 next b this number b has least prime factor 7 so b i'll take it as like 7 times 11 77 because 7 times 11 the least prime factor of b is 7 now if i'll add a and b a and b 15 plus 77 15 plus 77 is like 92 15 plus 77 92 so a plus b is 92 so for 92 the least prime factor will be 2 times 46 2 times 23 so 2 times 2 times 23 so the least prime factor is 2 so the correct option is a so or otherwise directly you can take like 3 and 7 3 plus 7 is 10 10 least prime prime factors are 2 and 5 so least prime factor is 2 so here in this way you can do you can find the least prime factor of a plus b is 2 so the correct option is a rational number can be expressed as terminating decimal if the denominator has the factors p by q rational number q should have the factors of 2 or 5 or it can have 2 and 5 also so the correct option is d correct option is d 2 or which of the following is not an irrational number see option a we have root 3 therefore it is irrational here we have root 5 and root 3 both are irrational here 4 is rational and root 2 is irrational 5 plus root 9 root 9 is 3 times 3 so root 9 value is 3 5 plus 3 8 so here 8 is rational so which of the following is not an irrational so the correct option is d because it is rational n square minus 1 is divisible by 8 if n is an integer see if you take integer so take some negative values and check with that so see minus 5 or minus 2 minus 3 you take some values so minus 5 whole square minus 1 minus 5 whole square is 25 minus 1 24 24 is divisible by 8 see don't check with one number check with one more integer because it should be divisible with all the integers take minus 4 also minus 4 whole square minus 1 so here 16 minus 1 which is 15 so here it is not divisible if I am taking integer I am not getting the answer so this is not the correct option now next take natural number so here also see n square minus 1 so if I take natural number take 1 1 square minus 1 1 minus 1 0 0 is divisible by 8 so try with another number 2 square minus 1 2 square is 4 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 3 is it divisible by 8 no so natural number also it's not possible now take odd number okay odd number so first take odd numbers like 1 square minus 1 so 1 minus 1 0 it is divisible next odd number is 3 3 square minus 1 so 3 square minus 1 is 9 minus 1 which is 8 8 is divisible by 8 next take next odd number also 5 square minus 1 25 minus 1 24 24 is divisible by 8 so this is the correct option correct option is c once we'll check why it is not possible so take some even integer like 10 you take n square minus 1 so 10 square minus 1 10 square is 100 minus 1 99 so 99 is not divisible by 8 so here the correct option is c and odd number if p and q are two prime numbers then lcm of pq is see if the numbers are prime then lcm will be product of the prime numbers so the correct option is d for example take p1 prime number like 2 q take another prime number 3 so if you want to find the lcm of 2 and 3 lcm will be like 6 
so product of two numbers so here the lcm is product of p and q so the correct option is d